This video is just like an impromptu ramble about something. It's about a topic which has been coming into the limelight more recently. And the thing that inspired this video was actually somebody saying, Oh, I couldn't picture you talking about that. You, could, you would never talk about that kind of thing. You can't call out this kind of shit. That's the kind of thing you people do. You people cannot talk about it. My reaction to that was, yeah, I can. Why the fuck can't I talk about it? I can talk about whatever the fuck I want to talk about. There's a few things that the left doesn't talk about, which I will admit I haven't gotten around to. I wanted to make a video about Islam for a very long time, just as like some random white dude who has a kind of passing knowledge on the subject of Islam. But I never got around to doing it. Just take a lot of research, take a lot of forethought, creating a script making it all perfect. And that's why I never really got around to that subject closely. The thing that has kind of happened on my channel is dramas will come up, fights with particular individuals, like people will make videos they will watch and say, that video was a bunch of fucking bullshit and have to say something about it. But it means that certain subjects do fall through the cracks. All right, I'm already talking about something completely different than what this video is supposed to be about, but I also think I have no desire to make a video where I edge load out about Muslims being evil and like throwing gays off buildings and like throwing acid in the face and all that kind of shit because for me it all kind of blurs together it becomes a very haphazard conversation I would want to make a video that was very particular and very thought out and whenever I think of doing that it sounds like such a hassle that I just get lazy and I think that means the entirety of one's views don't really come to the light of day because you get distracted by other things and then there's a kind of confirmation bias where people say aha people on the left they refuse to talk about this or that. Which is not the case, it's just a matter of managing these kind of things and I'm not always the best at that. So recently Harvey Weinstein, who is this Hollywood producer and apparently he's a lefty liberal guy, I didn't really know that before, this is new information for me that he's on the left or whatever. As far as I knew he was just a movie producer, basically came to light that he was like a creeper, a sexual harasser, a rapist or whatever. A lot of people took that as like Aha! The left! The left is evil, hypocritical, and etc. And other people like me were like, that's the, sort of the power dynamic. You've got someone who's very powerful and influential, and then you've just got actresses. They don't have very much power, and he can take advantage of that, and he can basically do what he wants to people, and they won't talk out about it. And there's like a powerful rape culture in Hollywood, which is something I would feel very comfortable saying. I don't care if it's left-wing or right-wing, that's just, that's the case. If Hollywood is more left-wing, and there is a rape culture in Hollywood, I would not defend the left on the grounds that oh, I don't want there to be a rape culture which is predominantly left-wing. I wouldn't give a fuck about calling that out. But that whole thing came out, and then this uh, feminist, is he? I don't know if he's a feminist. I actually don't know who the fuck he is. It's just this is what inspired the video or whatever. Sam Chris, I think he's a left-wing feminist guy, and he got exposed as sexually harassing women. And it doesn't really matter who the fuck Sam Chris is, I mean, there have been other feminists and other left-wingers who have been exposed as being sexual harassers. And I want to say unequivocally right now, why would I have a problem calling out male feminists who were sexual harassers? That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, if I could call out conservatives and right-wingers, religious hypocrites and other people who are basically using their status as someone who is anti-gay or pro-women or pro-minorities, using that kind of thing as a way of sexually harassing people, abusing them, and making those people feel like they cannot speak up about that. Why would I defend that? It doesn't make any sense. It's not like I have any allegiance to the term male feminist. If somebody says, I'm for the equality of women, you know, I care about women so much. I just want equality. I want everything to be fan fucking tastic for women. That's like you're about. I'm a male feminist. And they go and they sexually harass people and they turn out to be creepers. Why the fuck would I defend that person just because they call themselves a male feminist? I mean, they're a total fucking hypocrite. Maybe I'm less invested in this because I've never actually called myself a male feminist. That's normally just been what people have put upon me. I know a lot of feminists. I know a lot of male feminists. I know a lot of female feminists. I'm pro-feminism because I believe in equality and I probably have a different perception of what feminism is about than some of its detractors who would say, oh, it's a female supremacy, Marxist, uh, whatever the fuck, I don't know, uh, Orwellian, blah, fa the reverse fascism. I don't know, whatever you want to define it as, that's fine. As I said, I don't particularly care what people think of male feminists, because anybody can call themselves something. I can call myself a feminist. That's just the image that I'm putting out there. I am a feminist. It doesn't really say anything about whether I'm a good person or a decent human being. Somebody can call themselves a skeptic. Doesn't mean they're actually skeptical. Someone can call themselves an anti-feminist and if feminists are evil, that doesn't magically make an anti-feminist 
not evil, because I don't know what kind of fucking person they are. I could just say to you, I'm a good person. I'm a great person. How the fuck would you know that? That's an easy thing to say. You can just say that. Doesn't mean I'm a good person. It doesn't matter what people's words are. It matters what their actions are. There will be male feminists who will say, I'm a male feminist. That means I'm a good person. And that's total bullshit because they're a piece of crap. And then there's other people who say, I'm a male feminist and I'm a good person. You see what they do and you're like, you know what? They are a good person. Everything I've seen from them seems good. They have not seemed like a horrible person in my entire experience of this individual. And that fucking shit applies across the board, you know? You can have conservative people who can act like decent human beings and some that act like fucking crap. You can have religious people who are total hypocrites. Some of them who act fantastically, even though I would say being a hypocrite is sometimes built into religion, but that's a completely different subject. You got male feminists who do not live up to any kind of, I guess, decent person that I would want to be associated with. But the thing is, I do not agree that feminism or male feminism is an inherently corrupt term or idea, but that if some people who believe that idea tend towards hypocrisy, yeah, that's a problem. But have you ever thought, like, maybe that's a thing to do with men trying to find ways of creeping on women? Like, you can't say that, because then on the internet, that's not PC. I can't, I can't say that kind of thing about men. It just has to be about male feminists. And then if you really have a go at male feminists, you're kind of admitting that there is a rape culture. It's just perhaps somewhat localized to certain groups, like a rape culture in Hollywood on univers many university campuses. Pockets of rape culture amongst male feminists. A large rape culture online, just in general. A rape culture in prison. Rape culture in the military. And the place where I'm not totally on board with, like, skeptics and anti-feminists who would make similar videos about this is saying that this is something particular to male feminists. Whatever I think about Ronald Reagan, he did have a line which was very intelligent, which was, trust but verify. If somebody says that they're a male feminist and they believe in equality and they believe in treating people well, all right, trust them just on a face value, but verify. Verify they actually like that because you never really know who's gonna be a fucking creeper. I personally believe I'm not a creeper, because I feel like I would know about that and I would have an understanding of the fact that I was that kind of person. So I don't think I am. But you see, other people don't know about me what I know about myself. And I don't know about other people what they know about themselves. People can always be holding some kind of secret, some kind of quirk to their personality or some kind of darkness that is independent of being a feminist, being an anti-feminist, being a conservative, being a liberal, living in Hollywood, living in some other place. It's a large, mixed up, crazy world. And you have to verify that people are decent human beings. And so much of this is just tribal shit. It's basically like, all of a sudden we care about rape. All of a sudden we care about harassment. All of a sudden we care about shit that happens to people because Male feminists did it. And I swear this is a total fluke, but I found out today that a particular content creator is gonna make a video just about male feminists. And it's gonna be a total tunnel vision kind of thing. It's not gonna give you the idea that, wait a minute, maybe it's just not about male feminists. Maybe it's about an actual wider rape culture, which can occur within feminism, but can also occur outside of feminism. And if someone's a male, but they're like, I'm not a feminist, how does that mean that you can feel more safe around them? I don't have particular information. So when somebody says male feminists are a lot more likely, to sexually harass people. I don't know if that's fucking true. I have no idea. You could come up with a ton, a slew of examples of male feminists who've sexually harassed people, but that wouldn't prove that it was more likely. That would just say there's lots of visible examples that we can see, because someone has exposed it. This particular male feminist is a creeper. This male feminist is a creeper. This male feminist is a creeper. But how is that telling you that there's not a fuck ton of creepers in other areas? Do you think there's not a fuck ton of Creepy gamers in entertainment, of course, on college campuses. Are you fucking joking? A lot of the time, the focus is very myopic. It's very limited and it's very narrow. It's like, we're gonna focus on this particular group. This is the group we don't like. We don't like male feminists. So it's just gonna seem like male feminists are the fucking worst. But are they gonna talk about all of the other shit that's going on? No, because they're gonna deny any kind of rape culture. But I think people will be forced to agree anyways. A lot of people get raped in prison. A lot of people get raped in the military. A lot of people get raped on college campuses. They're only willing to talk about rape culture in terms of something which backs up their own prejudices about who the good and bad people in the world are. Because the fact of the matter is, I think this kind of sexual harassment, this kind of hypocrisy applies to a whole lot of groups just across the board. And that's the discussion that people won't have. They'll just have the discussion focusing on one particular group. But at the same time, I totally fucking agree that there's a problem with male feminists. So I don't actually care about content creators going around 
making exposés of a particular group of people who call themselves male feminists or who they call male feminists. You know, because some people call me a male feminist and I've never identified as that, so it can be an elastic group, I suppose. I don't give a shit about them making videos about those people. The thing that pisses me off is that that will be the only thing that we'll talk about in regards to this issue. Whereas I think Harvey Weinstein, uh, rather than a left-right thing, that sh that's more of a like power dynamic thing. And him being left-wing was somewhat incidental. There's a ton of left-wingers in Hollywood who don't rape people. Bill Cosby, not really a left-right thing. What Michael Jackson may or may not have gotten up to, not really a left-right thing. The rape scandals that went on at Fox News, not really a left-right thing. And the fucking male feminists who are hypocrites and liars and who you shouldn't take at face value, not necessarily a left-right thing. This is a sexual harassment gender relationship problem society-wide and that is not the thing which is going to be focused on so that's my view on this issue and i just gotta point out i don't have any problem commenting on this kind of thing don't sexually harass people goodbye